I have been using FL Studio for years and from time to time I have completed a track and then realized I would like to change the order of the segments of the track. Up to this point rearranging the tracks in the playlist has been a time consuming process and I was moving the different sections by highlighting them but usually there would be elements that did not match the selection and I had to spend time trimming down the individual sections. I recently found a much more efficient way to solve this by doing the following. The first thing I will do is set the snap to grid function to bars. Then I will move the entire project to the side so that I will have enough space to build the new arrangement. The next thing I will do is to group the entire project into one group like this. First you will add a free channel to the top of the playlist. Then you highlight all the different elements in the track. You right click one of them and you select group with above. Now you can find the section of the track that you would like to move. You collapse the group and by using the slice tool while holding down the shift key you can cut the start and the end of the section. Then you select the selection by holding down the control key and using the left mouse button. Then you can control C, copy the selection, put a marker where you would like to insert it and push control V. And now we have moved that entire selection, including the automations to that place. And you repeat this for the different selections that you want to move until you are happy with the result. Next we will have a look at some of the shortcuts that I find the most useful in FL Studio. We will start in the piano roll. So if you have a keyboard with a numpad you can easily change the pattern with the numpad numbers. You can also use the plus and the minus to scroll through the different patterns. And when you are in the pattern, you can also double right click with your mouse to go to the ghosted instrument in the pattern. You can easily access the different interfaces by using your function keys such as F1 through F12. F5 will bring you to the playlist, F7 to the piano roll, F6 to the channel rack and F9 to the mixer. To reset just about any value in FL Studio you can hold down the ALT key and left click on the button or the knob and it will return to the default setting. Holding down the shift key while using your middle mouse button or the scroll you can change the order of the effects in your mixer, the position of the channels, you can also move around tracks in the playlist as well as the order in your channel rack. 